Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome back to Ladybug Testimonies. It's good to have you back. It's good to be back here. I've already pulled your spread, Aries, to die down some time, of course. So we're going to head straight into prayer. I'd like to take this time to thank the universe for preparing us, for ordering our steps. For wisdom and knowledge and protection. We would like to ask the universe for protection, for insight, awareness, and the ability. In Jesus' name, love and light. Amen. How's it going, Aries? Someone arising. Aries, I did pull your spread out of the angel tarot here. At the bottom of the deck, we had the sun card. Okay, there's some positive energy here. So the overround. Energy is very positive. Also, speaking your truth and things coming to light here as well, Aries. Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm clarifying with the new century tarot here. We'll be getting your numerology advice out of the Disney deck. And some advice out of the conscious spirit. And Aries... Because in my last video, I forgot to pray at the end. I will try to remember to squeeze in the prayer out of the light of prayer. Okay. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The overall energy around you is decision making here. You could also have a Libra around you as well. And Mercury is sitting in Libra right now, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So it's all about partnerships and relationships. How you feel here. Venus sits here. You are most definitely communicating this as well right too much going on at once you need to make a decision consider a more playful approach here there is a decision being made though somebody is making a decision to go towards something they can work on here something that they can deal with here someone there there was some planning or there is planning here but the plan now is to move forward with whatever you were planning here You're ready to create here. You've been brainstorming here. You, you made a decision or someone is coming to tell you this beautiful decision that was made. Okay. But it's harvest season. Or after this decision is made, if you haven't made a decision yet. But yeah, something is known. Something is a fact now. And somebody is coming to share that. Yeah, someone is coming to communicate. Could be a Gemini or a Libra. <laughs> or their communication could possibly match yours. Or they could match you. Okay, Aries, someone arriving. But it's something tangible. Even if it's like a work relationship here, it's something you're working on here. And it's going to bring in finances. The communication is going to bring in finances. The teamwork is going to bring in finances. This partnership is going to bring in finances. Something does has to end. And this has been coming out in a lot of people's reading the tower here. Something has to end, Aries. That's your energy. You possibly have to let something go. Or something could be let go in a very drastic way here. Okay, Aries? There's something that's coming down and crumbling because God is giving another chance to create here or something else to create on. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The mental conflict here is making that decision here. Also accepting it. There's contemplation here. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts, continue to move forward. So, yeah, there's a different direction. The mental conflict is should you take this direction? Should you go in this direction here? Should you accept it? Let's shuffle that. The mental conflict could also just be going out. And the only reason why I'm shuffling is because that card did fall on the floor and I placed it on the top here. Yeah. Accepting it. Accepting the exposure, accepting what comes out. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, remember, it's not really about what you're going through, but how you feel about what you're going through. And there's some fear here. To heal the base chakra, yeah, some fear. Someone does not want something to get out. Some communication. <clears throat> Could be checking your phone here, too. Like, is it on mute? Or am I calling or texting somebody else? Ooh, we. Yeah. There is a decision here. And it's made. 
The only the mental conflict is do you when to go after it? You could also be dealing with the twins like a I don't necessarily see twin flame here, but something very passionate, someone who acts like you, something that you you like, something that you do want to build on here because what's on the heart space is the Knight of Pentacles. The second time seeing this card. Somebody most definitely wants to build here. They want to be loyal or you feel this way. They want to be dedicated, honorable. They want to be kind here. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments and then guardian angel here. Okay, somebody feels like somebody can help them through or somebody can bring in some finances to help here as well. Somebody feels like somebody could have went into a different relationship, made a different decision here, going in a different path here as well. But something has come to light about this. Yeah, you could feel like going into a whole new relationship, Aries, Sun, Moon, Horizon. Or you're in it. It's just you don't know how to communicate it. It's like going into a new job here as well. And you just like this is your first day. But you love it. So how do you go back to your old job and tell your old job like uh, I ain't doing this no more. This is what I feel. Aries, I'm on the horizon. It's like I want to start something new now. And this could this information could come out of nowhere or you just are having mental conflict on how to do that. Like this was fun, but I gotta go. Be aware, every someone arising of not opening up. Okay, be aware of only just a little bit. All she needs is not a lot, just a little bit. Just give it a little bit here. And take this as it resonates. So because this is a general reading, okay? Be aware of being tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others here. Be aware of a very loving woman. Be aware to get your communication across. You have to come off as loving. You have to speak from your heart here. Be aware that someone could be coming in and they are speaking from their heart. They thought about this. They've taken time out to meditate here. Be aware that when someone teaches, they speak from the heart. They give what you need, not necessarily what you want. Okay, this could also be a family member. Be aware of opening up about how you feel. Be aware of praying before you speak as well, every sun, moon, and rising. You could have a very empathetic person who talks to you. Be aware of this friend or this family. Be aware of speaking from your heart. Holy Spirit, let the world... Mm. Yes. I love that energy. That was so peaceful. Yes. There's a spiritual teacher here. Okay, be aware that kind words can take you a long way. Be aware that there is a spiritual leader here and they will help. They can help spiritually. They can help financially here. They can help you heal. Be aware of your communication, how you're speaking here. Be aware of lying about how you feel here. Be aware of abandoning the spiritual path here as well. Be aware of not speaking up about how the, you feel differently about something. You want to go somewhere else. You want to speak somewhere else. You want to do something. A decision is made. Be aware that someone could be coming up to you on a spiritual level and making a decision here as well about what they want to do. Because there's a breakthrough here. Most definitely open up about how you feel. For sure. And there's movement here. But it's just starting out. And you feel like it. You feel like it can grow. You feel like it can manifest. You feel like this is something that you want to do. You want to dedicate yourself to it. This could be a job, a relationship. 
putting in action in places, healing yourself as well. But be aware of the communication and how you're speaking here. Be aware of how you feel. Be aware of how the people feel around you. And get out of this fear here. All right, Aries Sun, when arising. Aries Sun, the most likely outcome here for you is communication. The truth is coming in here. Somebody has made a decision. Or Aries Sun, this is you. You have made a decision here. You know what you love. You know you, where, where you want to go and what you want to go after here. Brilliant new ideas and aspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning, yes. You know where you want to go, and it looks like you're going anyway. You're going to go speak your truth. You're going to say how you feel here, Aries Sun. Yes. You could be communi you could you could be getting your communication together, or you could be going back to communicate with a Gemini or somebody who you feel like matches you. Sagittarius, Pisces, but you're going to go tell how you feel and what you want to do, or you're going to go and express how, what was created, or this communication is coming towards you, Aries Sun. Yes. There's endings and new beginnings here. Chapters are closing here. And it's most definitely a spiritual journey. Okay, the truth is coming out. There's a new cycle starting. There's movement here. Yeah. Uh, somebody could want to tell a lot of people too. There could be a very strong connection here as well. Well, I'm going to keep it a band though. I don't see... I see two women. But you need to be aware of one woman. This Pisces Cancer Scorpio. It could be family. Be aware of the Sagittarius as well. say Aries sign here be open to what whatever comes out if you want to go and express yourself and, and tell the truth about how you truly feel here okay yeah tell the truth about how you truly feel here accept the person accept what they have to say too you are protected speak your truth here You got to get rid of the BS here. You got to tell how you truly want here. Because you want to create. You, you are ready to take a leap of faith. You want to tell your truth here. What you want to work on here. You most definitely want to be open and vibrant. And there's nothing wrong with that. The only thing that I say is let the person who you're communicating with tell you their truth as well. Aries sign. What's the advice for Aries sign? Pray before you speak. Okay? So your communication can be in order. Because some of you are hotheads here. And Aries, you are a hothead. You like, you like war. You like fighting. Here, Mars does govern you. Okay, so you're all about that action, baby. But come from a loving place when you speak to people. And allow the, the person to come with their energy as well. The only responsibility that you take from this course here is how it comes out of your mouth. And how you accept it. Yes. There needs to be some meditation here, for sure. You need to trust your in, your intuition and take advice, okay? Sun goddess, very, very positive energy. Very, very positive energy, and you most definitely are protected, boo. 
I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun here. Something is most definitely coming out here. Somebody is most definitely speaking their truth here. There is truth here. And you are protected. There's healing here. There's knowledge here. Since the beginning of time, it's just a matter of time. The sun has shone its vibrant, life energy giving, life giving energy onto the earth. This energy has been stored in the natural world in many forms, but we have exploited these stores. We need to use these resources springly and in a sustainable manner. Acknowledge the the vital part of the vital part the sun plays in the universe greet the sun with gratitude each morning and give thanks for its warmth and energy the sun controls the seasons learn to sense the different stages and how they affect your life and your own energy the sun's energy is healing and can help lift your mood simply by sitting in a sunny spot and imagining the warmth and light of the sun flowing through your body can bring relief from pain and can make you feel happier by eating fresh organic foods, you are also able to enrich your diet with the healing energies of the sun. If you spend most of your day indoors, start putting aside time daily to sit or walk in the sunlight. You must also understand that the powerful rays of the sun can be harmful if not respected. If you spend too much time in the sun, this, this card could be a warning to for you to take the necessary precautions in protecting your skin from the harsher rays of the sun. The sun's energies are changing and expanding. Be aware of how this affects all aspects of yourself. Meditate and understand what you truly want and how you truly feel here, okay? Aries Sun, I am giving some prayer at the end of this video if you would like to stay. If not, you can always go to Testimonies or Ladybug Testimonies to join that family there. The link is in the description box below. If you would like to book an appointment, that's the description box below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more insights. I would love to have you. Have a beautiful day or night. All right, Aries Moon, the most likely outcome for you is the Five of Earth here. This is the Five of Pentacles energy. This is most definitely giving back to a situation, spiritually and financially. This is a balance. This is bringing in a balance here. You could have some abandonment issues here as well, um, but be aware of this. Be aware of how you are expressing yourself and how you're coming out, okay? Fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. Okay, you can do it. You just need to believe in yourself, trust in your intuition here, and bring in this balance. Remember, Libra is sitting in Mercury right now, so communication will be balanced and loving. It needs to be, it will be, especially if you're giving it out. Aries Moon, you most definitely need to work on your heart chakra, and how you do that is send out loving energy unconditional love loving yourself and loving everybody around you and speaking it into existence you look nice i always try to give out at least 10 compliments a day a day it just makes me feel better and i know it brings in the balance in the universe but yes um you could be helping someone in jail here or you could be helping helping someone in a relationship with a commitment here there's a decision that you are making a decision to help you are making a decision to bring in balance here, Aries Moon. You are making a decision to be the bigger person and open up and express yourself here. You also could be releasing toxic relationships here as well and going through karma here as well. But it's beautiful. You are creating a balance here. You could be dealing with a, um, a Libra, a Sagittarius, Virgo. Dear God, what's the spiritual advice for Aries Moon? Yeah. Somebody also could be abandoning a situation here as well.
there could be a shock to this change here but it's karma coming in creating the balance there's help here there's harvest there's victory yes there's creativity for sure trust your intuition for sure because it's time to create here it's time to block out all the negativity and build and be your true authentic self here god is unwinding things for you okay he's giving you the vision on where to go on, on where to take action and how to speak your truth accept the journey for what it is okay You could be carrying feminine energy and masculine energy, which is beautiful. That means that you are aligning yourself with the universe. You are loving. You are a leader, right? That's beautiful energy. There's a balance here that's being created. Continue to trust in your intuition. <laughs> I'm getting to here. Yeah, maybe you should watch the movie, Milan. I love the movie. I haven't seen the human form version of it, but I love the cartoon. I really did. The advice here is transformation. I told you there's a change here, but you most definitely have to trust in your intuition here for sure. There's change. There's intuition. A lot of intuition. Bottom of the deck is the base chakra. Get out of this fear here for sure. I journey within to meet my higher self and to find true happiness. There needs to be some self-love here. There needs to be a balance here. Mind, body, and soul. <clears throat> society leads us to believe that possessions and external things will bring joy happiness and contentment but that is not true real lasting happiness can only be found once you go within and connect to your true self this call reminds you that transformation must begin from within and only you can decide to begin this journey by acknowledging and understanding the darker aspects of self as well as your inner light, you can begin to move toward a greater understanding of who you are and what direction your life needs to move in. Light casts shadow. The two are uh, connectedly bounded. Often it is your shadow self that gives you courage and self to live in the light. Be gentle and kind to yourself on this inner journey. Know that at all times you are guided and supported by beings of light in your higher self. You can take this journey along by following your intuition or you can seek guidance from books or people you trust. There is no right or wrong path. Your path is unique to you. Follow it with courage and strength. Remembering to always show compassion and love to yourself as your true self unfolds. And be beautiful. You could be dealing with also a Scorpio here as well, okay? All right, Aries Moon, if you'd like to stay until the end of the video, I am praying, reading out of the light of prayer. Um, if you would like to join the Facebook family, Ladybug Testimonies or Testimonies, because we do Sunday prayer there, I would love to have you. The description box will help you with that. If you'd like to book an appointment, the description box will help you with that as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more insight. I would love to help. And if not, have a beautiful day or a night, Aries Moon. Alrighty, Aries Rising, the most likely outcome for you is the Four of Pentacles here. You could be most definitely holding on to materials here as well, not fully presenting yourself, or this could be someone happening around you. Someone needs to heal. Someone needs to have unconditional love for themselves and everybody around, around them. There needs to be some gratitude here. You need to let go of grief and the things that you have lost or the the fear of losing as well being too frivolous or too cautious with money good business decisions given to those less fortunate here yeah you could really be scared of losing at the end of the day but if you don't ask for help you may not get it aries rising a closed mouth will never be fed If you don't ask God for it, you won't receive it.
you may not see what God has for you if you don't go into prayer and meditation. Because God will always provide. But you could be passing your signs and uncertain of your path if you don't go back to God. If you don't open up about how you truly feel about situations. If you hold that back. If you don't tell the truth here. Okay, but there's some information coming in here, something that you could have been holding on to, holding back here. Maybe you are opening up or someone is around you going to be opening up and expressing how they do need help. Aries rising. Or this could be you. It's a general message here. Yeah, somebody wants to try it again. Somebody wants to reinvest and that's the truth. Someone could have been holding back the truth here. Could have been family here as well. Strong Virgo energy. Be aware of this. Somebody could also have been saving. Saving and holding back to come to you. To tell you that they're either leaving a situation. Or um, they don't want to argue anymore. But there's movement and travel here. But it's peaceful. There's a transformation here for you, for you too. There's a change here. The past could be coming back. And someone could be leaving the emotional entanglement. Okay, there's some disappointment here. The truth is somebody doesn't want to invest. The truth is somebody wants to let go. They don't want to build anymore. Aries rising. Or this could be you. Take it as it resonates. Dear God, what's the numerology for Aries rising? But the truth is coming in. You can even find out what someone has been holding back you can even find out on a good note though you can find out the benefits from a job mm, that ain't too good i mean it could be good it has good things about it then it has it's bad things about it you still want to invest or you still want to do you have you your mind is made up on whatever you want to do the numerology for you is 12 you are most definitely protected here but you need to get rid of the bull crap for sure. You need to mean what you say and say what you mean. What do you want to create? Get out of this fear. Speak your truth. If you don't like that, say that. If it hurts your feelings, say that. If that ain't enough, say that. So you can bring in that change. So you can build something different if you want to. Here, God, what's the advice for Aries Rising? Figure out what's the advice for Aries rising. I'm hearing that song again. I don't know if she's afraid. She's afraid. Uh, mm -mm. She don't want to be no more. Mm -mm. Reach out and ask for help if you need it. Aries rising. If you want this change here, you need to speak up about it. Okay? Bring in that balance and trust your intuition. You are most definitely protected. Your mind is made up. Or someone's mind is made up. They are protected. They like where they're going. Or this job is what they want. This relationship is what they want. And I don't really see anybody changing mind because it's already in course. I reach out my hand and my heart to connect to and un unite all of humanity here. Yes, this, t this person is going to go and help or going to go ask for help. And there's a spiritual intake here, a financial gain and a spiritual gain. Just got to ask for it. We each possess unique gifts that we need to develop and share with the world. Whether you are aware of your gifts or not, by reaching out to others and sharing your experiences, hopes, and dreams, as well as your fears, you will begin to understand your specific gifts and their purpose in this world. Amen. With modern day technology, it's easy to reach others far across the globe. But do not overlook family and friends or the community you live in. This card is asking you to open your heart and connect to people near and far. Share your talents and acknowledge to help those in need. Communicate with like-minded souls and learn from those whose cultures and belief systems are different from yours. Expand your world by expanding your heart. It is time to set aside your differences and connect to others on a soul level in order to spread love, compassion, tolerance, hope, and solitary between all cultures and races. Hmm. 
Only by joining together can you build a brighter future for all concerned. Do not isolate yourself for your life will only truly have meaning when you share it with others here. There needs to be some faith here and trust in your, in your intuition for sure. Okay. I shared this card on testimonies, right? But the message that I got from that was the same message that was on testimonies as well here. You need to be open to the differences. You need to be open to different people, to the spiritual journey. So there can be change here. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. That's Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's Philippians 4, chapter 4, verse 13. We read out of this um, on Testimony Sunday Prayer, August 30th. Okay, if you want to go back to that reading. I love how that is flowing. Thank you, God. <laughs> Have a beautiful day or night. Remember, stay positive. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself here. It's time to meditate and it's time to most definitely trust the journey. Sun goddess could be dealing with the Leo or just, just being positive. Transformation. Reach out. Trust the journey. Okay, trust the path. There's everybody has different paths, but if you stay positive, things will manifest quicker too. Remember, it's not really about what you want. Most importantly, it's about what you need. Have a beautiful day. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more insight. I would love to help.